Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes testing new eyeshadow palettes and I am really excited about today's palette. When I did my new makeup releases, I said I'm 100% buying this palette and I did and that is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Machina eyeshadow palette. 24 romantic sci-fi shades. The packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. It has this 3D alien robot type of image on the front. Absolutely beautiful. And then the color story on the inside is really unique, even to Blend Bunny. Yes, it is sort of a rainbow palette, which is what Blend Bunny is known for, but there are some really pretty unique shades in here. I will say right off the bat, I don't love the look of the palette on the inside, the way that it's laid out, the colors all put together. I don't love that, but after swatching it, I love the quality. Of course, the mattes are a 10 out of a 10, as always, with Blend Bunny, and the shimmers are really pretty. We have some very sparkly, wet foiled shimmers, and then we have a few that are a little bit more like toppers. I will say, despite the color story layout of the inside, I do like how she laid it out in terms of creating easy looks. If you just go down the row vertically, each row is a monochromatic look, so it makes it really easy. If you wanted to do a pink look, a purple look, a red look, a green look, a more smoky look or a blue look. If you just go vertical down the row, it makes it really easy to create a look. With the palette, we did get a little card and on the back it says, for my dad, for the ways you believed in me, the ways you encouraged me, the ways you saw me, and the ways you loved me. My dad's mind was the most magical place. To know him was to know a world that had a whole other wondrous side to it. This palette is a work in progress while he battled cancer with majesty and grace. We passed the time and distracted his mind with talks of this palette, the artistry, the concept, and the colors. We wanted to create a story, a robot or AI that glitches into gaining human consciousness and feelings. The task of curating the color story now alone, trying to bring in the two shades of the sci-fi theme, human and robot, and making sure to include the colors my dad mentioned was very difficult. I changed this color story multiple times. It was just so important for me to get it right. I am so pleased with the final palette. A huge thank you to an artist I've admired and loved for years. She took the project on with no hesitation and created exactly what I envisioned. Isabel Straub, you made absolute magic. We hope you love this one as much as we do. Thank you for the opportunity to share these things with you. That's really special. For someone who's lost their dad, that's really special. Okay, so if you're excited to see me create a look with the Blend Bunny Machina palette, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on, because I upload lots and lots of tutorials. I actually have an entire makeup tutorial playlist here on my channel, so definitely check that out. Down below, I will link the Blend Bunny palette and the discount code that I use to save 10%. You'll also find my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the other makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you would like to recreate this look. This counts to my favorite indie brands and come follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Let me zoom you in and let's create a look with the Blend Bunny Machina palette. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. You already know. You already know that this is my go-to eyeshadow primer. It's really the only one that I use. I always tap that out just to make sure that there's no creasing, but I do not set my primer with powder. You can, I just don't ever set my eyeshadow primer. So I don't want to do a monochromatic look. So I understand, I appreciate that the rows vertically create nice monochromatic looks, but I want to do something kind of neutral, but with a pop of color. I know, neutral, who am I? But I'm excited to play with this. And when I say neutral, I mean kind of neutral. I definitely want to bring in some color. So I'm going to start with this matte here called Air Code. It's kind of a peachy, pinky matte. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. So I'm going to pull that into my crease and actually go a little bit above my crease. I do have hooded eyes, so I need to make sure that we can still see that shade error code by popping it in my crease and above my crease. This shade is really pretty. It's definitely a pinky peach. 
It's going on beautifully. It's blending out beautifully as expected with Blend Bunny mattes. I'm going to pull in some of this green matte here called Digital. I'm picking that up on a little bit more flat, dense brush, and I'm going to pack that right into the crease. Just tapping that in and then lightly with the windshield wiper motion, blending that out, I am staying right in the crease, not going above the crease at all because I do want that really pretty shade air code to pop out above. So again, just focusing right in the crease. Going back into that shade air code with that fluffy brush, I'm going to use that to blend and diffuse those shades together. And again, just make sure that we can see air code popping out above. I actually really like those two shades paired together. And then using that same flat brush, I'm going to pick up the dark blue shade called Motherboard, and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner. This looks like just a really pretty navy shade. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is pretty. It's navy kind of leaning black. It's deep and dark, but you still get the blue pulling through. The shade is so pretty and it layered really nicely on top of the other two mattes. Again, picking up that fluffy brush that had air coat on it, I'm not adding any shadow. I'm just going to use that to blend that outer corner a bit. As always, I'm going to apply some NYX Glitter Primer on my lid. I always use the NYX Glitter Base. It just, again, keeps everything in place, from keeps those shimmers from creasing, and gives you the true opacity of your shimmers. I'm going to be applying shimmers both with my finger and a brush just to show you different methods and see how these shimmers apply with both methods. The multi-chrome in the palette is down in the corner here called Cyborg. She's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that shift from purple to green to blue. I am 100% placing that on my lid and I'm going to focus that on the outer three quarters of my lid. Do you see that? Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Wow, that is so shifty sparkly and stunning. Okay, Blend Bunny, I see you with your multi-chromes. That is gorgeous. And then I wanna pick up this pink shimmer shade called Conduct, and I'm going to pick that up on a pencil style brush. This looks like it's very much a sparkly duochrome, and that's going to go right here on the inner corner because I want to pull in some of the pink that we have in the transition shade. This is really pretty too. This is really beautiful. It's very, very sparkly. A little bit more on the sheer side, not quite a topper, but a little bit more on the sheer side, but absolutely beautiful. And it's applying perfectly with a brush and Cyborg, Cyborg was beautiful with the finger. So you can use both applications with these shimmers. Wow, those two together are so pretty. I want to pick up this yellow shimmer called Sci-Fi. Again, a really pretty duochrome shifting from yellow to green. And I'm actually going to pop that right in the middle of Cyborg. I just want to add that little bit of lightness to the middle. Okay, this is really pretty. It's definitely adding that pop of lightness. And then of course I'm using the shade Switch, which is the white shimmer shade, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's kind of a whitey silver. It's really beautiful though. That would make an amazing brow bone highlight. So for my lower lash line, I want to pull in a little bit more green. So I'm going to pick up the shade Machine, which is this deep kind of olive green shade. And I'm going to buff that on the lower lash line. And I'm staying really close to the lash line because I am going to pop in another color. I do love that pop of green. Again, it just ties in with the green in our crease. I'm going into the shade Conscious, with, which is the purple shimmer, and I'm going to pop that right on top of the green on the lower lash line just to lighten it up and give it a little bit of sparkle. And that also helps tie in Cyborg. 
This is so pretty. It's very machine-like, very robot, very AI, exactly what Blend Bunny was going for with this palette, and I really love it. I love that this is a more colorful look, more gr a little bit more grungy neutral with a pop of color, and of course I had to use that multi-chrome on my lid, and it didn't disappoint. So let me go ahead and do lashes, liner, mascara, and I'll be back to share my final thoughts on the Blend Bunny Machina palette. So here is the completed look using the Blend Bunny Machina palette. I did go ahead and throw on some black liquid liner, popped a color in my waterline, threw on some Lunar Beauty lashes, put my hair back in a ponytail because I'm about to go take my morning walk. But I wanna share with you my thoughts on the palette. So first again, I love the outer packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I don't love the look of the color story on the inside. I do again appreciate the vertical rows for monochromatic looks. Although I don't love the look on the inside, I love my look. I love my eye look. I think this is so beautiful. This multi-chrome right here, Cyborg, is exceptional, absolutely beautiful. And I love that these are sparkly, but they're a little bit more sheer, kind of like a cross between a regular shimmer and a topper. And I really like that because it gives you a little bit more of an ethereal look. I love that I was able to pop in some colors. I use a lot of the shades in the palette, honestly, most of the shimmers. I think I used all the shimmers except for one, and again, used quite a few mattes, everything from light to mid-tone to deep, and everything performed beautifully. I actually like this palette more than I thought that I would. It's a rainbow palette, yes, but it's different. It's different than what Blend Bunny has put out. It's got those brighter colors. It's got pastel -y colors. It's got grungy colors. I love the inclusion of the blacks, the grays, and the whites just to lighten things up and deepen things up. And this deep navy shade, uh, what was that shade again? Motherboard is absolutely beautiful in the outer corner. I'm impressed. I'm much more impressed with the palette than I thought that I would be. You already know I love Blend Bunny. It's one of my very favorite indie brands. So I would say that I definitely recommend the Machina palette. And I also love the story and the inspiration behind the palette as well. It's, it's really special. As you saw, it made me a little emotional. Um, I lost my dad about 10 and a half years ago. So I completely understand where she's coming from and that this palette really just holds that extra special place in her heart and I really like it. I'm happy to have it in my collection and I can't wait to use it again to create some more looks. So let me know down below what do you think of my look. Are you going to pick up the Machina palette? I will link it down below. I used someone's discount code and got 10% off. I'll put all that information in the description box as well as all of the other makeup that I'm wearing. Today, if you would like to recreate this look, discounts to my favorite beauty boxes, discounts to my favorite indie brands and come follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Definitely, definitely love Blend Bunny's Machina palette. Yeah.